Hello YouTube, it is Jacqueline. So today for this video I'm going to be showing you guys, or kind of telling you guys how much I spend um, owning a rabbit and how much it costs to get started owning a rabbit and all that fun stuff about my pet rabbit Billy. So if you guys want to see this, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing is obviously buying a rabbit. So this is my pet rabbit Billy. I bought him almost a year ago and I spent around $100 on him, which is a lot of money. So I would suggest probably instead going to like an animal shelter, like I tried, but they didn't have any rabbits where I live, so I just had to go to the pet store. So maybe try not to spend <laughs> that much money on a rabbit, and it was kind of dumb to do that. But anyway, so yeah, his name's Billy. I think he's part Angora. I could be wrong, but they didn't really know what he was. So yeah. All right, so Billy has two different homes. Don't ask me why, he just has two different little homes, so we just like put him in between the two. He enjoys both of them. And so this one, we built both of them, but the one I built years ago, and then this other one that I'm showing you guys right now is one that I built, me and my little brothers built together just a couple weeks ago, and he quite likes it. So we have sand at the bottom for him and all that. This one cost me around $25 to make because all I had to do was get chicken wire, the wood I found, scrap wood from behind like dumpsters at like de car dealerships and stuff like that. They just have like pallets and things like that that you can like take for free. So try to look around if you can grab some wood. And then all we have to do now is stain it. So it will cost a bit of money for the stain, but depends on what kind of like home you want. These like rabbit homes can range like so much. So if you build your own, it could be way cheaper. Um, but if you buy one, it can be $200 plus for a little house. And it depends how big your rabbit is and everything like that. So as far as food goes, I just go to Walmart and I buy a big bag of it that cost me around like 17 bucks. And it lasts like for a couple months and then I also have grain which my opa gave me from his farm because I didn't want to buy that and he I just give Billy like a little bit of it and he quite enjoys it that way he's got a bit of a mixture of food and then I also have this little thingy hanging on the side of his one little home and it's got um, for all his hay to be inside and then he just like eats the hay out of there because he likes that I tried putting hay like in straw at the like the bottom of this home but he didn't really like it he just got annoyed by it so um, I just put it on this little thing and then he can just eat from it there and all that stuff is free so if you go to the pet store um, it does cost a lot of money for just like a bundle of like Timothy hay or whatever they call it but I just go so try to find like if you know of somebody that has like it's like a farmer or something like that. Oh, also, I also give him like apples sometimes because he likes apples. He doesn't really like carrots. He likes strawberries and stuff like that. So I'll just give him that every once in a while just to change up his diet. He just can't have too much rich food. I don't know why, but he just, he doesn't do well with it. So I just give him some every once in a while and he likes that. So Then this water bottle that I have for him, this bigger one cost me $20 and then the smaller one cost me like $15. Um, I just got those from the... Um, pet store and the way that they have them is they have a little ball at the bottom so then their tongues won't get stuck don't get ones with springs because their tongues will get stuck in it but get the ones with the little balls as like a stopper for it all right and then as far as like wood shavings and bedding goes for him I got a friend of mine her dad does woodworking and stuff like that and so he had all these shavings that they just like throw out and I just asked him if I could have a bag so he just gave me like an entire bag of a bunch of wood shavings and I put it in this little like weird corner toilet thing and Billy just likes to go in it I guess I don't know um, he just does so this thing works really well it's a lot easier to clean up that way and I just yeah like I put the hay or the wood chips in it and it's almost like a sawdust it's finer and so it's softer for him and yeah so I suggest like if you know of anywhere like in your town that has like does woodworking and stuff like that they normally have sawdust and they throw it out anyways so like why pay for sawdust you know and then lastly as far as toys go I was so tempted to buy him all those little toys like at the pet store and just like waste my money on all of it but I'm glad I didn't because he doesn't even really like them um okay I'm not I, I wasted my money one time on them and he didn't like them so then I started making them with I found like pine cones and like stuff like this and I'll show you guys how to make it right now but I make little toys for him and he likes them way better okay so what we're doing right now is I'm looking in the bush for willows and stuff and they're over there we're all good 
So I also like to find pine cones for my rabbit. Um, but where I live, like there's not really pine cones or anything like that. There's like, I think there's spruce cones, which are like the tinier ones. I could be wrong, maybe I'm mixing them up. Um, but like these little guys and stuff. Um, so you could use like some of these, but I found some actual big pine cone things. Um, last time I went to a forest that, that was like that had a bunch of those I just collected them try not to like actually buy those though because like a lot of the ones that you buy are like scented so if you can't find them maybe don't use that maybe just go with like the stick method <laughs> That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed looking at my little rabbit. I think he's very cute and um, yeah, so that's basically it. If you guys want to go and check out my other videos, I'll have a playlist of them linked in the description box below of my most recent ones and yeah, also I have two other brothers that have YouTube channels so if you want to go check those out, I'll also have those linked in the description box below and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!